Welcome to Daily News to America. Today is Thursday, October 2nd, 2014. I'm in an especially good mood tonight, because if anyone watched the Orioles-Detroit game, the Orioles fucking kicked the Tigers' ass. They scored eight runs in the eighth inning on a one and two out rallies. Now, in the win against Detroit, we had Nelson Cruz hit a home run, J.J. Hardy, and I believe that was it, but there were a lot of freaking close calls and a lot of RBIs. It was an overall awesome game. I love watching it. Go Orioles. Let's shut them out. Three straight. Let's go on for and go for the uh, AL pennant. Come on now. Next up, the University of California in Irvine. University of California, Irvine, holds the record for the largest pillow fight ever. This is a Guinness Book record now. It is official. The video is up online right now. You can go see it. There are thousands of kids doing this thing. At least it looks like there's thousands of kids. It might not be thousands, but it may be. Anyways, next up, going to Dallas with the Ebola stuff. Kids are staying home from school because parents fear that at least five of the kids have had contact with the patient. So now the weight game is on. We're going to see, we'll see who ends up getting it, who ends up getting, or not getting it. But the roommates that he has been in have been quarantined in their apartment for three days now. Not allowed to leave. No one's allowed to come in. The police are in the uh, compound. They're not letting them out. Nobody can do that. The Dallas Food Bank has to bring them food and make a drop-off outside their door. The most they can do is open their door to pick up a package. And that package is just food so they don't starve to death. Honestly, that's got to suck and it's a little harsh. But it is what it is. A bowl of some serious shit. And we know this. And also, a U.S. journalist is now uh, positively tested with it who is an NBC correspondent, or not correspondent, a uh, photographer. He was, uh, he's still in the country, and supposedly he is set to come back to the U.S., but we'll see what happens there, because I'm not sure if he's going to be able to come back now, because he has Ebola. And we don't want that shit here, even though it's already here. We don't want it anymore. All right, last story of the day. We have an accident in the Suez Canal. Two massive container ships, both over a thousand feet long, collide. Some reports say that this was an act of road rage, road rage, supposedly, saying he cut me off. I don't know how you can cut someone off in the Suez Canal when technically they're supposed to go down one by one behind each other. But somehow you can see it. I mean, when you're coming in, he was... Going down, you see the other one just come in and just go... <clears throat> well, it doesn't go like... <clears throat> when it goes like... <clears throat> Either way, that video is online too. You can see that one online too. Go look them up. This deals, or this ends the articles that we have for you today. Like us, share us, subscribe, tell your friends, keep watching the videos. Let's get this news out there. This is Daily News to America signing off for the night.